I'm now joined by Luis Saint, CEO of Cardo. Luis, such a pleasure to have you on the program today. Thank you, Ryan. Very pleased to be here. Luis, Cardo's goal is to spatially enable every data analyst, making them more productive and impactful within their companies. How is Cardo showing the way for your clients? Yeah, no, our, as you say, our mission is, is to democratize access to spatial analysis. And the way we do that is by giving people access to the classical tools that every data analyst is using every day, as opposed to having to use specific tools with have data working in a silo that you have to learn separately, et cetera, et cetera. So for us, the most important thing is working together with providers that enable a seamless integration with, with their data, and then giving them access to low-code analytics, um, as the case for developers, that are easy to use and then building end-to-end -end applications so they can actually solve real business problems, which is at the end of the day what we're all doing here. Yeah. Great perspective. Thank you so much. How does the AI data cloud enable these insights, Luis? For us, the data cloud is really important because historically, um, spatial data has been siloed in, in what is called particularly your spatial information systems data has been siloed in systems that regular analysts don't have access to. So by partnering with the um, AI and data cloud, what we can actually achieve is actually bring in the analysis where the data is already living and, and making accessible all those large data sets to our customers. A uh, great example of that will be, for example, the Overture Foundation data set. That's an open data set that we partner with Snowflake to make uh, free for through the Snowflake marketplace for all Snowflake customers. And that's a data set that has a lot of um, POIs, uh, points of interest across the world. It's contributed by a lot of large organizations such as Meta, Amazon, Microsoft. And historically, working with something like that will require you to procure that data set somewhere else, kind of like do a proper ETL into your system, and then you will have to transform that data to be able to match your own um, internal geographic uh, infrastructure. So by working with Snowflake and Carto, now it takes a couple of clicks to start being able to analyze all that data. Great to hear, ease of use, very much at the forefront. As we're aware, Luis, the hot topic remains AI. How is Cardo's AI-powered spatial insights boosting productivity? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Obviously, it's very important for us these days because we're natively integrated with the Snowflake. We can actually directly leverage all the innovations that you're making on the front. So we can leverage Cortex-AI directly to be able to um, take spatial analysis and make it accessible to even more people. Just to give you some perspective, if you think about geographic information systems, there are like maybe two million analysts in the world that can do that. Uh, if you think about SQL analysts and things like that, like the number will be 80 million, so that's already wow. a 40x increase. But if you think about all the people that instead of using SQL could query a data set or look at the map and interpret a map just using natural language, um, that's a billion. So that's a, a, bigger, a bigger step for everyone. So that's where we're going. Uh, last week, we actually released Carto AI Agents, which is pretty much a way to enable our customers to query their own data in Snowflake and their own uh, dashboards and pretty much get insights without actually having to understand the underlying data structure. And that's a very powerful value proposition for all of them. Luis, congratulations on the recent release. And I want to stick with current events. The excitement is clearly all around us here at Snowflake Summit. And I helped kick off the Data for Good Hackathon. And Cardo partnered the event. From your seat as CEO, why is using Cardo's platform for good so near and dear to everything that you do, Luis, and what results are you seeing? Yeah, Carto origins are actually uh, based on biodiversity, kind of like our founder, Javier de la Torre, started um, tracking endangered species and using spatial analysis to track that. So this is something that has always been very close to the mission of the company. But the, the most important thing is that if you look at the main challenges that humanity has in front of them right now, most of them have a use spatial component. If you think about climate change or climate resilience, right. how you actually combat climate change, but not only that, but also how do you adapt and how communities need to evolve to actually uh, adapt to, to the new climate is, um, reality. That's all a huge special problem. If you think about demographics, uh, you know, food insecurity, housing problems, um, all those policy problems have a very clear use special component. Um, so for us, kind of like many of the things that we're solving on, on an everyday basis are actually some of the biggest problems that, that we're all facing these days. So there is, there is not a better moment to be working on something like just spatial analysis and geography. This is. Well, Luis, I want to say thank you for everything you and the team are doing. Thank you. What's next for Cardo? Well, for us, uh, the, kind of the core of everything that 
that we do is trying to help our customers to become more productive. Kind of um, this year, we just got the the Partner of the Year award for Telco from Snowflake, which is certainly something that. Thank you. Which is, is particularly relevant for us because at the end of the day, our innovation always goes where our customers are taking us. Um, historically, for telcos, the most important challenge has been how do you take all those data sets that keep growing and growing and becoming more massive every day and you seamlessly analyze those without actually having to be moving data around. And the data cloud is actually a really nice way for us to do that. So um, the next big thing that we're working on there is, is trusted support, which is something that all our partners in, in the telco space or, for example, on the insurance space when it comes to flooding risk or wildfire risk and things like that are, are taken very seriously and bringing all those you know, data silos into the data cloud is, is, is where we're going. Well, thank you so much for joining me here at Data Cloud. Now, clearly, it's all happening here at Snowflake Summit this week. Uh, thank you. The pleasure is mine, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green, and this is Data Cloud Now. Thank you.